So I, I guess to start off, um, I'm Landon, uh, this is Andy, Stephanie, Troy, Alex, and Jake. Uh, and we are most of the Taproom Travelers, yeah. or all of the Taproom Travelers. <laughs> jobs, uh, our jobs are camera, 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 camera editors, audio, girl, and <laughs> graphic you gotta designer. Have, you gotta have the token girl. Graphic designer, yeah. web designer. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm a girl. She made the beautiful logo. What? Inadequate well, producer and director. I have to remind you guys a few times, mm -hmm. but... So, uh, Lazy Monk, how do you guys all think about it? Like, what's... I know you don't like loggers that much. Yeah. Why don't we go with me last, then? <laughs> Since loggers aren't necessarily my... Well, I mean... I really think it's something unique. I mean, a lot of breweries you see that, that make IPAs you know, or, or start, ales. Start that over again since she was talking when you started. <laughs> Alex, it's a normal conversation. <laughs> it doesn't matter if people talk over you. I think, I think it's unique in that, like I said, uh, you know, you don't see a lot of breweries that, that don't make ales of any kind. And they don't. Or do they now? Damn yes, it, Troy. Troy. <laughs> Actually, it was really interesting when we interviewed the one, that young couple. Yeah. And the one girl was like, it's actually really unique because they just make lagers. And we're used to all the pale ales and uh, IPAs that most breweries in the cities make. So we've actually came around full circle because lagers are the most made beer. But yet, in the craft world, IPAs and pale ales and hoppy beers dominate. So now here's a brewery doing lagers. So we've come all the way back to a brewery, you know, like, now oh, that's unique now. Whereas opposed to, like, 10 years ago, it was... Everything, everything was locked. Yeah, that walk yeah. down brewery history is brought to you by Trap Room Travelers. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's that's probably why you don't see the older generation drinking a lot of craft beer either. Yeah. Because yeah. they're used to the, the Pilsners and the... And they're stuck in their way. That's true. Yes, they're mm -hmm. stuck in their way. We don't anything, have any anything, old people here. Anything different is, is, is foreign. But yeah. yeah. Well, it's like you growing up, like my dad and those guys are like, oh, Paso Ribbon, that's the heavy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is it... So, I, I mean, to, to really make a go of it, I think they, they've done an excellent job. Oh, right. it, oh, considering yeah. their location and yeah. and right. and the, the type of beer that they make, they've made a hell of a run at it. Dear world, if you can't find them, it's not your fault. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but if you can find it, it's just, it's a wonderful atmosphere, though. I, yeah. It just, it's a really chill place to go. You don't have that kind of you know, college atmosphere in a college town, yeah. you know? It's mm -hmm. douchebag free because people that are there want to be there. It's mm -hmm. not like you just tell them, like, oh, I love a Miller Lite. It's like, no, you have to go into the building, down past the soup kitchen, and... You have to work to Yeah, if, if, if you're there, you're there intentionally. Right. Yeah. You yeah. just happen yeah. upon it. You don't, you never don't stumble, stumble upon <laughs> Lazy Monk. Yeah. And they've expanded their space. I mean, whenever I first started going there, there was, you know, like... Half. Two, it was half two the or size. three tables. And it's still packed. Think think about a Thursday night. Uh, I mean, how often do people really go? And maybe well, I'm just too old, but speak for yourself, son. I know. <laughs> <laughs> old man Landon. Old no, old man Landon doesn't go out drinking on a Thursday night too often. Well, that just makes me feel ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> that old family kid. That thing. old family kid thing, I tell you. <laughs> Well, the the other thing that I've noticed there too is like you'll show up and have a beer, and then somebody just whips out a violin and starts playing music or something. Or a, yes, yeah, I've yeah. been there for that. It's amazing. Like someone pulls out a violin. It's not even like it's not random music yeah. playing. It's, it's it not scheduled entertainment. It's it, like it might, yeah, accordion. It might just be five people well, sitting over in the corner yeah. talking, and then all of a sudden, it's so authentic just, European. Just, we, yeah, I was there once, and there's just like kind of this weirder old dude there, but he was like cool and whatever at the bar drinking and a dude came in and started playing the accordion and the guy just perked his head up, walked over and started singing along in perfect German to the violin or the mm -hmm. accordion. I'm like, you just you just so happen no random accordion song and you know how to sing it in German? Like <laughs> how often does that happen? Like Where right? are we? It's like this is oh. not in Eau Claire. <laughs> this happens all ones of times. That <laughs> <laughs> one time. I am yes. not a lager person, but if you're willing to break into song spontaneously, yeah, I it was like a musical. I'm like, Whoa. pour me a beer because I'm, <laughs> yeah, fine. I'm like, I might I'm as well be drinking. Whoa, while I'm yeah. <laughs> no, I like so, they, they have the perfect mix of I'm I have Czechoslovakian background, so they have the whole Bohemian feel with the with yep. the flags and the decor and the people playing music 
and they they specialize in lagers, so I'm yeah. heaven. I love oh, the place. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Which is another interesting topic you kind of reminded me of. It's so you go to a lot of breweries, and the guys like, well, my my grandpa came over on the boat, or whatever. So you're like two generations removed, but they're doing it because that's their heritage. This guy is straight up from Europe, right? Like, you exactly. know, he's, he's yeah. like, this is my beer. I yeah. couldn't spell his name if you paid me to. Yeah, there's an umlau in there. <laughs> One of the things I think that really brings that level of authenticity, especially with the kind of European heritage, is Teresa. I mean, she play, treats that place like it's her home. I mean, she is entertaining her guests. She's moving from person to person. She remembers everyone's name. I kind of feel like I go in there and, you know, I'm not from Eau Claire. I live, I'm from out east and I feel like my mom's there and she's taking care of me and bringing me a drink and a snack mm -hmm. and just fosters that like perfect environment where you just kind of want to hang around with your folks and, and chill and have a beer. It's a shame we weren't able to interview her too. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. like she's like, she's half of that business basically. She's the heart. Yeah. Their heart and soul is in it. Where's Milwaukee? Five hours. Over okay. here. Okay, here's the, the uh, here's our uh, graphic. Graphic based off of layouts too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, is okay. it? Yeah. 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 Looks like there for the, is the lazy monk. Yeah, essentially. Mm -hmm. Layouts, just one IPA. <laughs> <laughs> I do love me some IPA, mm -hmm. but I can't help it. I just I'm a hot person. I'm an I L can, person. I can Even respect the L. <laughs> I really, I love it. I just really ale. want to have, love it. Have the brown ale. Ah, <sighs> see, too moldy. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. Yeah, everyone's favorite thing, starting with. Jake. I love lager beer, and I love that they feature that, and I love the bohemian ambiance of the whole place. Do you like the hippie part of it? Bohemian? Yeah. I'm a Are you a hippie? Hipster. Yeah, I'm a hipster. Yeah. Landon, oh, bohemians aren't man. hippies, because I'm a bohemian. Uh, <laughs> lagers. He's offended. Yes, quite. <laughs> as he uh, should be. As lagers, as well. atmosphere, and, and the clientele. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Andy? I'm going to go with... Basically, what they said, lagers, oh, atmosphere. Uh, but uh, also, you're the intern. Intern. also, Teresa. Okay, uh, right? Teresa was her name? Yeah. yeah. Alex. I'm going to go with her, too. She's. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. Lovely. Tiffany. Okay. Um, I think my favorite is the spontaneous singing. Man. Anywhere where someone will pull out a mandolin or a violin, I'm in. Yeah, I'd have to go atmosphere, atmosphere, beer. <laughs> I'm going to go with the smoked Bach. I'm going to get very specific. I really enjoy the smoked Bach. You would get specific. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Too lazy, Mom. Too lazy, Mom. To beer and beer things.